Sports brings you Clay Center Tiger basketball. We're at the Tigers' den right now, just following their opening scrimmage, and with the new head coach of the Clay Center Tigers, Zach Malcolm. Not a new Clay Center Tiger, mind you. No, no. The new head coach. Uh, <laughs> coach, appreciate you being with us, and uh, congratulations on stepping into this Thank you. added role for the winter sports yeah. and uh, winter school year. It's a busy time for you. Yeah, it's kind of busy. I got a few things going on, but uh, <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's something that I love and and uh, it's something I really enjoy to do and and I you know I can always find more energy you know <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the decision to step in okay. to this position yeah uh, coach Steppy stepped down mm -hmm. and it came open I know you went through the interview process and I guess uh, you and Jenny have to make a decision that this could be something you can do first right yeah you know I mean we, we went through the interview process uh, before three years ago when the job came open and and uh, you know it was something then that I, I thought about and considered whether or not I would want to do it or be able to and and it was just something that I felt I could do and then when this opportunity came again and uh, I I talked to Jenny and my wife and and she said go for it so I said all right well see you in March <laughs> but yeah no you know. kidding yeah. I know a lot of the kids excited about getting into this season and, and seeing what's going to happen yeah. so now they've gotten into it with you uh, what's it been like through the early practices and kind of getting your stamp on things right now you know it's it's it, there's been uh, some ups and downs really because you know a lot of these guys they're real fundamentally sound and a lot of them are real hungry they want to come out and they want to show that hey you know what we did last year it's not a fluke it's not a one-year thing we're, we're, we laid some foundation and and we want to carry that further but at the same time it's a lot of new stuff so they're they're having to you know pick up some things that we, we really didn't do in the past I mean as you saw tonight I mean we run a lot of you know some motion offense that is really it's structured but it's not structured so you know and, and that takes some adjusting but I think the, the guys have handled it really well and and uh, you know they're they're basketball players so they're gonna that's gonna take over eventually and I'm gonna guess from your statement it's structured but it's not yeah and then followed up by their basketball player you're gonna let them play basketball a little exactly bit. exactly and, and that and that's what these guys can do you know I mean we've got some real good scores and then we've got some good defenders we've got good passers we've got all these things and and the best way I felt to really utilize all those different talents in one team on the floor is to, is to run some motion. So There was a group that graduated last year for the Clay Center Tigers that was very, very talented and, yeah. and took them really to a new level during their time here at Clay Center. I think a lot of people have lost the fact of who is back, though, and I think it's going to be fun yeah. for fans to come out and see what this group offers because I will tell you, you know it, yep. but I will tell you, this is a talented group. It really is. It really is, and when you throw in you know, there's a few juniors sprinkled in there too that are that are coming back. I mean, you talk about Dylan Burks for me, who's got two years of varsity experience. You know, and he's a junior. So, I mean, it's it's one of those deals where, you know, there 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 are some good players on this team, and I, I really think there's there's a lot of things we can accomplish this year. And you know, a lot of that gets lost with the you know all those guys leaving. Just a, a tremendous amount of talent those guys had, and and I enjoyed coaching them. I coached them when they were freshmen, and I've coached them all the way up through high school and and these guys you know they came in the year after them as freshmen and, and they hardly lost the game so I mean you, you know it's one of those things that you know there's tons of talent and, and, and we're ready to we're ready to take hold of this season now I know coach Malcolm well enough and and, and hearing him talk right now, there's a little energy leading you yeah you're probably a little antsy following this scrimmage to, to get it going I'm a little anxious I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie I, I was I was sitting over here before and uh, talking to some people and I was like gosh you know I just don't know what we're gonna look like and we come out and we look pretty good, I thought. And, you know, it's like that. Like I said, there's ups and downs. We have lots of ups. But, yeah, you know, I think once the season starts rolling and they start to get a hold of what I'm trying to give them, it's, I mean, there's really, I, I'm not sure what we can accomplish. I know it's a lot, but, uh, you know, I you, just don't know. You got me ready to go play. I can tell you that. Let's right go. Now. You want one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> Right sure. I, don't know, I got to change shoes. But, uh. <laughs> Coach Zach Malcolm with us. Good luck on the season ahead. We're really excited about seeing Thank these you. take All place. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Twin Valley Sports brings you Clay Center Tiger basketball.